Gnats are tiny mosquito-like bugs that live in moist soil and humid environments. Among the many kinds of pests, gnats are one of the hardest to spot and they are a problem for many indoor gardeners. Hey everyone, it's Succulents Box. Today we're going to talk about different types of gnats on succulents and how you can get rid of them with ease. Gnats are tiny, nasty little bugs with wings that resemble little flies. They eat at the root of your succulents, live and lay eggs in the soil. Gnats love wet soils with some organic matters and flock to excess water and damp conditions. To look for gnats in your soil, examine it closely with a flashlight to look for movement in the soil. Gnats may also rest on your succulents leaves from time to time. There are many types of gnats, but only a few affect indoor plants and succulents. Let's take a look at the most common ones. Fungal gnats are the most familiar kind of gnat you'll encounter as a pest. You'll most likely find them in your succulent when it's overwatered or has root rot, but fungal gnats will also make their home in soil regardless of your succulent's health. You might find fungal gnats in sink drains, garbage cans, compost bins, or around anywhere that is relatively dry but still pretty humid. The second type of gnats is buffalo gnats. Buffalo gnats are often seen outside, but they can also wander in when your windows are open. Unlike fungal gnats, buffalo gnats prefer to lay their eggs in fast-moving rivers and streams and tend to avoid high heat areas. The last type we are talking about today is gall gnats, which look a lot like mosquitoes with veined clear wings but don't bite. They feed off a of plant sap as they grow and can hamper your plant's growth in process. Gall gnats are hairy and most often red. Let's check out these gnat treatments. Most gnats love warm and humid environments with organic decaying matters, so keep your home clean and dry. Since gall gnats and buffalo gnats are mainly outdoor insects, the best way to keep them out of your home is by controlling your indoor environment with air conditioning, dehumidifiers, and keeping your windows closed. If you've got gnats already in your home, make a trap. Flypaper, chemical gnat traps, or LED rechargeable insect traps are some effective solutions. Another way to trap fungal gnats is by making your own gnat trap using stuff you have around the house. To make a homemade gnat trap, pour apple cider vinegar or vinegar and a pinch of sugar into a small bowl. Then mix the three or four drops with of dish soap. Replace the bowl every two or three days. Gnats are attracted by the sweet smell of the vinegar and the dish soap will create a film that gnats can fall into but not fly out of. Now that you've got your home and succulents clear of gnats, the chance of them coming back is pretty high. Follow your prevention method to keep gnats away for good. Most of the time your succulents are infested with gnats because you have the wrong soil which doesn't drain well enough, or because you already have an infested bag of soil. It is therefore crucial that you repot your plants in fresh, clean, well-draining soil and move them to a drier spot to prevent future gnat attacks. If your succulent is someplace prone to high humidity or fungal growth, say a bathroom or near the kitchen garbage, move it to another location. Fungal gnats tend to enjoy places near the fungus they eat, so keeping your plants away from potential food sources removes one potential home for an infestation in the future. This next tip is most important. Keep your soil dry and clear of dead leaves. Change your watering routine, use the soak and dry method or bottom watering method and drain well after each watering to prevent excess water logging in the soil. You should also monitor the soil moisture by using your finger or a moisture meter. Like all pests, gnats are something you can chase away with a little extra love and effort. Your succulents will thank you for it. As always, thank you so much for watching our video. If you enjoyed this tutorial and want to see more, please leave us a like and a comment. It really helps. For more succulent care tips and to get notified whenever we post a new video, hit the subscribe button. Happy gardening! For more, you can find us at succulentsbox.com or on YouTube, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest.